These are just a few of the paintings I've been working on for the past few days while experimenting with gold leaf, silver leaf. Have yet to touch the, the copper leaf, but uh, the main purpose was to get ready for this video right here. So in today's project, I want to make an abstract painting using gold leaf. I've done a little bit of experimenting, and as you can see, I've gotten some decent results with uh, these products so far. The product that I'm using in this video is Old World Art Metal Leaf that I got on dickblick.com. I'll put a link in the description below. There's a particular type of adhesive that you can get that's supposed to come with it, so that's for if you're going to be applying it to other objects. Uh, whereas with paint, uh, if you apply the metal leaf to the paint while it's wet, I'm finding it sticks just fine. Um, you'll notice that, that I do come back after it dries and I'll end up brushing off the dry flakes that didn't stick, which ends up creating this broken textured look in the metal leafing. So yeah, it ends up with a cool effect as a result. Uh, there are other different ways to apply it to the paint, which I haven't tried yet, which we're probably going to try in this video. Let's start by figuring out what colors we want to use. I have a special trick for that. Let's, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so one nifty little tool abstract painters can use, especially when you're not sure, uh, if you're not familiar with color harmonies and stuff like that in the very beginning, this website coolers.co that's c-o-o-l-o-r-s.co uh, it basically is a palette color generator so let's go ahead and give it a, a go here so basically you just hit spacebar and it generates a color palette for you let's get rid of that and you can minus colors i actually don't know how do i add the color back in i don't know how to do that but let's say you only want four colors that's great so in this case, we know that we want to use gold as part of our color palette. So I wasn't sure what the color code for gold was, so I just went ahead and did a quick Google search and I was able to find it right away. Uh, so I went ahead and plugged it in. So now once you have a color that you want plugged in, you just hit that little lock symbol here and it locks it in place and then hit spacebar again and you keep, keep generating different color palettes that go with the color that you're gonna wanna paint with. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a color palette I like, and then we'll get to work.
few things that I want to note uh, about working with uh, gold leaf or just leaf, metal leaf in general. Uh, first thing to uh, recognize is that it's so thin that when you hold it in your fingers, it gets stuck to your fingers. Uh, so you want to really hold it lightly or maybe even use a pair of tweezers or something like that. Uh, in this painting, I actually applied the pieces of gold leaf using this brush right here. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus on it. There's some thick bristles on it and uh, it picks up the leaf and allows you to apply it with a little bit more precision than when you try to use your fingers and when it gets stuck on your fingers. You know, I'm not, I'm not super stoked with how this painting turned out, but you know, you win some, you lose some. And if you are looking for any other abstract painting techniques to try, go ahead and check out this playlist right here. Or if you just wanna watch one of my other videos,